hi everyone welcome back to my channel how is the year treating you so far hope you all are fine hope you all are good today we'll be making this juicy looking croaker fish so just sit back relax it's a very short and simple video and i hope you enjoy and learn something from it keep watching so in here i have my bell peppers garlic ginger onion and scotch bonnet i'm just going to blend it roughly with my food processor you can blend it roughly with your blender as well or you can pound it whichever one you decide so to a hot oil i'm going to pour it in and just you know stir you don't need to fry this sauce for too long because you are still going to grill it with the fish most people will just directly you know pour the, the pepper mix on the fish and then grill it it still comes out nice but then i like to add a little flavor to mine before you know pouring it on the fish so i'm just going to season this with thyme paprika and salt okay i'm also adding one seasoning cube you want to be careful about the amount of salt you add to this sauce because you are probably going to season your fish with salt so you don't want it to be too salty once it starts looking like this we are good so next is to season the fish and for this i'm using a, a tablespoon of fish seasoning tablespoon of suya spice and then this barbecue spice guys this spice is a game changer i just love it i use it for all of my grillings during christmas and it was superb so i added one teaspoon one tablespoon and just a little salt you know we've already added salt to the sauce so you want to be careful when adding salt to the fish so make sure you you know clean up any moisture on the fish make sure the fish isn't wet before you start adding your seasoning and then you make incisions like this just so the seasoning will be able to penetrate and the fish will be able to grill faster so once you're done making the incisions you start you know pouring it in like this gradually and use your fingers to make sure everything goes in rub it in like this into the incisions on the body the head the guts everywhere so your fish comes out tasting delicious truth is if you grill your fish this way it might still taste nice even without the sauce as long as you seasoned it properly but then we need the sauce because we need extra deliciousness <laughs> so i'm just going to rub it in the same way i did with the um, seasoning and make sure everything goes in this is a very important step to make sure your fish tastes nice so you make sure to do it properly so once you are done rubbing the sauce on it the next thing is to put in your lemons because what is fish without lemons what is fish without lemons guys if you're grilling your fish without lemon then you're missing make sure to put it in different parts of the body just the way i did and you would see the difference if you've not been doing this already so finally you cover and make sure it's tight before placing it into the oven so while that is grilling i'm going to go ahead to prep my coleslaw so at this point if you watch this video to this point please please give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe if you've not done that already we have new videos every single week even though for some weeks now i've not posted because i've been busy with a lot of things or oh, we are back and we are ready to do this so please smash that like button and subscribe thank you 
So I also fried some sweet potato and I'll be having my fish with this. But you can also use Irish potato, plantain, yam, whichever one you prefer. Just make sure there's some choppables in it to make it more enjoyable for you. So finally, my fish is out. Normally, I would grill my fish for 45 minutes, but today I decided to, you know, try it out and I grilled it for an hour. It came out nice, you know, just like done, done, done. But this fish tasted amazing. And you see this sauce all over it. You can have it with rice. That's what I did with mine. And here is my coleslaw, my sweet potato, and our fish is ready. This fish tasted nice. It tasted as good as it looks. I can't wait to have your feedback when you try it out. Please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> YouTubers can't say this enough. Thank you to everyone that has subscribed. I love you so much. Thank you for supporting this channel. I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.